Pretty motherfucker, you're the baddest one. Gave you all my love, that shit tonight. Good evening, you guys. Happy Friday. So, this is going to be the start of a weekend slash birthday maintenance vlog. Um, it's not going to be a maintenance vlog to that extent where I'm getting my hair done at the salon and lashes done, all the other good stuff. Like, I'm not doing all of that as far as maintenance go. That's why I'm not making it its own thing. Like, last year, if you watched my birthday maintenance vlog over on my main channel i made it a whole thing because it was my first time going out of the country so you know it was a big deal for me so i wanted to make sure that i had nothing to worry about my nails was done my hair was going to be done well not really done because i wore wigs um while I, was, while I was in the dr but you know all that good stuff but this year i'm too stressed to really celebrate um, my birthday like that because I'm still trying to find a place to live down in Georgia. So I'm still stressed So this year I'm just going with the flow and whatever happens happens this year for my birthday And then I'll turn it up next year because next year I'm turning a big age. So I'll just celebrate next year like the big Celebrate it big next year this year ain't gonna happen only thing I have planned for this weekend, um, as far as maintenance go, is getting my nails done. I also want to get um, my watch size to my uh, my new watch size to my wrist because it's too big. Also, want to hit up Ulta and pick up some new makeup items so I can do a video tomorrow. Um, so I can have a video go up on my main page on Sunday because I'm trying to get back on track because I've been training for the past two and a half weeks with some new people so i've been training new people not with some new people but i've been training some new people for the past two weeks so i began off at five um for the past two weeks so it's sort of kind of messed up my youtube schedule and also for the month of july i wasn't really posting like that on my main channel because we had my boyfriend son here for the past for those two weeks and you guys know how I feel about recording when I, we have company. So, you know, I just, you know, just took some time off from really recording on YouTube. But now that I'm going back to my regular schedule on Monday and I'm here basically back to being alone again. While my boyfriend's at work or out doing whatever he does, I can get back to recording on the days that I normally do so I can upload on the days that I normally do and sorry for the lighting if you don't hear it it's thundering and lightning and raining outside even though it's still light out there but yeah this weather is so bipolar right now so bipolar anywho what's on the agenda today is getting these nails off because I do have a nail appointment tomorrow and I also want to take off the nail polish on my feet uh, also what I need to do today I think that's it my main focus is getting these nails off because um, I need a full set I think I have an idea of how I want my nails I know they're gonna be longer than this I'm going back to my long because I missed them well, not super long. They're like gonna be like medium long, and I also know they're gonna be an ombre lavender. But I'm trying to decide if I want to do pearls on them or have um, on all of my nails, or maybe pearls just on these two nails, or do I want to do rhinestones? I have like four different versions of lavender nails in my phone. So that's that. Also, you guys, I picked up, um, not picked up, but I ordered a lot of stuff for my birthday. I have my second birthday dress, my shoes, my hair. I have my new birthday watch. Um, only thing that I'm missing is my chain, okay? And if you're watching the last vlog, I told you guys that I ordered a chain from this Instagram boutique called bbyq they pop up on my instagram page all of the time so i was like you know what i'm gonna treat myself to 
a high quality necklace okay it's not a real cuban i just want to throw it out there it's not a real cuban but they have it advertised as a cuban necklace so i got a thin one something where it shines but it's not going to be overly bulky on me so i got a what they call a thin cuban necklace i got a 18 inch so it's going to fall right it should fall right underneath my collarbone which is fine for me because the other ones were saying it was going to be a choker and i'm like i don't want a choker you know i want it like if it falls right here on my collarbone that's even better but even if it falls a little bit underneath my collarbone i don't really don't care so yeah so that's what um i'm just waiting on now it says it's in new york so hopefully it'll be here by monday i feel like it should be here by monday monday tuesday the latest and yeah i'm gonna show you guys all of that probably tomorrow i'm really the lighting and everything is just not really that good for you guys to see all of this stuff in its glory. I also ordered some stuff from Amazon, but nothing pertaining to um nothing pertaining to my birthday besides like maybe the hair curlers and stuff. But other than that, everything else is just because I needed some more books and I wanted a tumbler for my iced coffee. So speaking of books, before um I go handle some stuff before uh, I get to my nails. So I did finish all six books of the Wedding Date series from Jasmine Gullery. And my review on the way that she writes and everything about it is um, it's a very easy read. I can read her books within a day or a day and a half depending on if I have anything to do. I can definitely run through her books so they're very easy reads. They do have some spicy scenes, but she, I would consider her more of a closed door romance. So she will give you one graphic scene and not even really that graphic, but like one graphic scene of, you know, of them about to do the do. And then throughout the rest of the book, she might throw it in there a little bit, but not as graphic in the very beginning. And then everything else is just like a tease like you know so if you enjoy closed door romance and um you want easy reads for the summer i definitely would look into her she is a black fiction author so that's another reason why i chose to, um chose to read her books because i am focused really on supporting black fiction authors and ordering their books so i do have a list in on my Amazon of different books from different black authors that I've you know ran across or read about so yeah um, if you have any suggestions of any black fiction authors let your girl know so I can look them up and order them so now the next book that um, I'm waiting for to come in is from T Talia Habert Talia, Talia, I'm, I don't know how you pronounce her name. I think her name is Talia Har Harbert or whatever. She has uh, a series called Get It Together, Chloe Brown or something like that. It's about three sisters, but and they each have their own book. And then I also have another book coming from Jasmine Gullery. It's called By the Book. And it is a part of a Disney princess series. And the last book that I have, um, I already have it. It's called You Are a Badass. Something, something, something. I know that's not by a black author, but I've heard people uh, talk about that book so, so many times. And I know it's a self-help book. Not really my thing, but I wanted to give it a try and read it and to see what is the hype about that book so that's what i have so i think i gave you guys a rundown of my life updates on the books what is on the agenda for this weekend so now i'm about to set up my salon step foot rest get my drill and get this party started
Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. Happy Saturday. So as you guys saw, I did some slight cleaning. Nothing like deep clean or anything like that. I still need to wipe down all of my glassware. I need to vacuum my couch. Um, I need to vacuum the whole floor. I just vacuumed where I was yesterday when I um, took off my uh, nail polish and stuff, my acrylics and stuff like that. I just vacuumed that. But I need a deep clean this apartment which will be tomorrow because I got a lot of stuff to do today so excuse me this morning drop my boyfriend off at work so I can have the car and um, I have a nail appointment at 10 30 I explained the agenda yesterday but just in case you know you forgot I have a uh, nail appointment at 10 30 and then Depending on how long that is, I might have to go pick up my boyfriend from work to drop him off at his second job. And then from there, we can go ahead and do everything else. I'm not sure how that works. My boxy charm is getting delivered today. It came hella early this time around. Um, it's out for delivery right now, but I highly doubt I'm going to get it before um, I'm going to be here when the mail comes. So I might just be sitting out my, um, outside my door. Um, yeah, so you know how recently I said I was going to go to Ulta so I can pick up some new makeup so I can do um, a full face of new makeup, but since if my Foxy Charm is going to be here, I might as well just do my Foxy Charm video so that can go up on Sunday. So they, so my main channel will be getting two Foxy Charm videos basically back to back because I uploaded my July Foxy Charm so late. So now the August one just basically will be right there beside it. But I might still go to Ulta anyways. Um, and still pick up some new makeup and that will be the video for Thursday. I also want to go to Sephora to see what my birthday gift is. As well as pick up a new perfume. I want a, a nighttime one. I have a lot of daytime perfumes. Mine is my um, Chloe perfume. But I want a nighttime one. And I like warm and sweet scents. Um, in general all around but mainly for the nighttime now I'm doing for the daytime I like more of a fresh floral um, for the daytime and night I like warm and sweet so I'm trying to decide between the Carolina Herrera good girl perfume or I don't know I'm, I'm gonna just ask when I get to Sephora and see because the altar I went to um, down that's like closest to me really didn't have that much of a good selection of perfumes. Now maybe if I go to this other Ulta, maybe they might have a better selection, but 
The also I went to did not have a very good selection of perfumes. It looked like it was like display only, like they had nothing there. So hopefully the one out Tossing that we need to go to is better because I also need to get my watch that I got from JBW, which I'm going to show you guys. Um, hopefully that watch is, uh, I need to get that resized so that way it can fit my little bitty wrist better. Also, last thing before I eat, I'm taking some new supplements. These are from the Ollie brand. It's the Perfect Woman's Multi vitamins and it's a powerful blend of vitamins a c d e b's biotin and folic acid so um you take two of these a day um you can take it with or without food it says no food or water needed so yeah i just take two of these they're gummies they taste super super good so but i still want to get the hums we ordered the hums daily um daily cleanser ones but I do think they were helping my skin out. Because I noticed that my skin has been breaking out for like little bumps lately. So, yeah. So now I'm going to eat my oatmeal. My maple brown sugar along with my maple brown sugar coffee. A lot of brown sugar. And so one thing before I go about that creamer. It is the silk maple brown sugar oat creamer and you definitely taste more of the maple than a brown sugar i heard trader joe's got a really good one so i do want to try and see if i can find it from trader joe's because i do need to go to the grocery store because we're running low on some things but if you just like the brown sugar without the maple i wouldn't suggest it because this one has a very potent maple taste but if you like the taste of maple then i would suggest getting it from silk that's the thing and then of course you guys know i feel like the best oatmeal that was ever made is the maple brown sugar oatmeal from quaker and no one can tell me different and the best way to make it is with milk not water I don't know who the hell thought making it with water is going to make it taste good. It's not. You need milk. Okay. You need milk. So, I'm going to eat. This took my vitamins. Then I'm going to do all my hydrate things. Make up my bed. Get dressed. And I'll pick you guys back up when we're making our way to the nail shop. Okay, guys. So, I wanted to give you a outfit of the day. It's 10 o'clock. So, I have 30 minutes to get to my nail appointment. But luckily where my nail appointment is um well not my nail appointment but where my nail salon is it's not that um far away from my house once i hop on the highway or whatever but anywho so i have on a very basic 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 ass uh outfit i just have on this oversized well i brought it in a large so it's not really oversized but this large um graphic tee and on the back it says bad bitch bad attitude i got it from fashion nova and normally i will wear biker shorts with it but i only have one pair of biking shorts so i can't wear them so i'm just wearing like some regular leggings that i think i got from fashion nova then I just have on my black and white Hirachis, my new head scarf that's in the same color as the wording on the back. And then my jewelry, um, all from Shein, except for my necklace. My necklace is my dad ashes, so we're having a daddy-daughter day. So now let me show you my birthday watch that I got from JBW that I need to get resized. If you go on my Instagram, I did an Instagram reel and a TikTok um, showcasing my new watch. So this is the ARC single. So this is what it looks like. And I got it in the silver. Hopefully the lighting can pick up, pick it up. I'm not sure. But I got it in um, the silver and whatnot. So... When I first got this watch, I didn't know how to open it up, but it, um, it's like a two for, like you close it this way and then you close it this way to get it on. But let me show you guys how I need 
how much I probably might need to get like five links taken out <laughs> because this is where um, how much room I have on here so I need to get this uh, fixed so I'm gonna wear this watch today because since it is my birthday month, I'm going to wear it, but I'm going to go get it resized so it can fit my wrist tighter. That's what I did with my other JBW watch. I had to get like five links taken out because that's how small my wrist is, okay? So we're going to do that today. And yeah, let's go. Push I drop too fast, move too fast, live too fast, ain't no such thing as too fast. Push I drop too fast, move too fast, live too fast, ain't no such thing as too fast. at the salon I'm like 10 minutes early my appointment like I said it's not so 10 30 but it's 10 21 right now so I'm gonna wait another five minutes and go in like five minutes early but y'all I need some new music to listen to because I've been listening to nothing but Chris Brown album since it dropped and especially I started listening to it more when I thought I was going to the concert so I needed to learn the whole album but since i'm no longer going possibly i'm still trying to decide if me and my girl sierra is going to go out of state to go to his concert like maybe go to vegas um to his concert or not we're still not sure um because i haven't talked to her since uh we had that girls night but um oh i think i'll get these notes done. my nails are so weak but um yeah, so I've been listening to nothing but Chris Brown since he dropped it. And I literally, I know like 95% of the whole album by heart by now. And I have not gotten sick of, sick of it yet. But then again, I am a stan of Chris Brown. Minus me paying the $1,000. I just can't. But I am a stan of Chris Brown. So none of his music irritates me. I can listen to Chris Brown for a whole month straight which it seemed like I have because he dropped this album on July 22nd I think which is that Friday so I've just been playing it since then and no actually he dropped it way before then because no he dropped it June 24th he dropped it back in June that's what it is he dropped it back in June and I've been listening there for a whole month straight 
mixed in with maybe a little bit of Marcus Houston, a little bit of Nipsey, you know, but it's just been him straight. So I do need a new album to listen to. I heard Neo's album is really, really good. It's like up there with Confessions by Usher Caliber. So I really need to listen to him. I want to, I need to listen to Brent. I cannot pronounce his last name. Brent Fires, Freyers, his new album. I need to listen to that. When it comes to hip hop, I really don't, it's not a lot of rappers that I really listen to besides like maybe Drake, not maybe Drake, but Drake, Lil Baby, Lil Dirt, Gunna. Um, of course, my, my, my number one man, Lil Wayne. Um, what other rappers do I listen to? Nikki, of course. I love me some Nikki. Um, as far, okay, let me phrase that. As far as new age rappers go, there's not many that I listen to. I listen to old school rap. So you will hear Snoop, Tupac, Biggie, Jay Z, Nas. Um, who else? Eric B and Rock Kim playing my car. You'll hear Ja Rule playing my car. 50 Cent. Like, I listen to those rappers because those are my rappers growing up in my era. But these these new age rappers, I don't listen to not that many besides Lil Baby, Gunna, and um, Lil Dirt. Oh, I am starting to like Young Blue, though. Young Blue is starting to get a hold of me, so I do listen to Young Blue. But it's not that many new rappers that I listen to. I do like J.I.D. or Jid. I don't know how you pronounce his name. I don't know if it's J.I.D. or Jid. I like him. He gives me Kendrick Lamar vibes. And I love Kendrick Lamar and like J. Cole. But, yeah, when it comes to rap, I'm not really that deep into the game. Now, R&B, that's, that's all me. But if you have any new people that, you know, I probably haven't heard of or you feel like they need their recognition... Please leave them down below so I can uh, look them up and give them a try and listen to. Because I do need some new music to listen to so I can give Chris Brown's album a break. But it just got me in a chokehold right now. Anywho, guys, it's now 1026. So my appointment is in four minutes. So I'm about to put on my mask. Because we can't be getting sick, okay? Can't be getting sick. And I think I know how I want my nails. Um, I was looking through my four pictures yesterday. And originally I was going to get the... I'm going to post the picture of what I asked for. And we'll see if Holly can do it. But I wanted... Um, originally I was going to do French tip with like maybe the pearls. But because these are my birthday nails and I'm pretty sure by that time I probably might need a fill in. I just want to go super glam with my nails. So I'm going to do the picture I just showed you guys instead. So let me go inside, get my nails done. I don't know how much I'm going to record because I will be using my phone instead. Instead of um, on the camera because I don't, I didn't bring my stand. So yeah. So let's go get these nellies done. Yo, I put on my jewelry just to suck my nigga off. Fingers on his balls like I'm about to tell him. Hold on, I'm talking about you. 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 I'm tal
by his job by 1.30, 2 o'clock. I'm trying to get there at 1.30 since he has to be at his other job by 2.30. But, however, I am about to go straight home for a split second because I just got a notification that my package has been delivered to my front door. And not that I don't trust my neighbors, but I don't trust my neighbors. <laughs> So, I don't want nobody to steal my package. So, I'm about to drive home real quick just to pick up the package and um, at least put it inside of my house. So, that way it won't be um, stolen. Okay guys, so I had to remove the audio from this clip because it was playing music, but in this clip, I'm just showing you guys stuff from this store called Akira, which I know is in Houston and I think in like Illinois and stuff like that. So we finally got Akira here in my city. So I wanted to go in there and check them out. And I really like those jeans. However, you guys will see in the next few clips that they were just not hitting the way I thought they were. Alright y'all, so I have this pair of boy shorts and then I got the jeans in two sizes, a three and a five. So I'm going to try these on and let's see how they work. Okay, so now I'm showing you guys the jeans on. This was the size five. Do you see how short they are on me? I'm five seven, so I thought they were going to be a little bit longer. That was a lie. And then there was so much space in the back that it was just a no for me. So in the next clip, I'm showing you guys the size three, which also did not work for me. All right, y'all, so I got little clips of me running my errands at the mall, but um, I'm taking my ass home, okay? I'm taking my ass home because I spent $385 today. $385 just today. I still have Wednesday, the day of my birthday, to get my feet done. I have my dentist appointment on that Tuesday. I still have bills that um, haven't come out of my account yet, you know? And I spent 384 fucking dollars today on nothing. Nothing. My most expensive was the Ulta um, products, but that was it. I spent more in the store Akira than I did at Sephora, purchasing my perfume. Like... And Akira is tripping. I didn't even buy that much stuff. I brought um, a lot of basics. Well, not even a lot of basics. I brought a couple of basics. So, for it to be that damn expensive, close to $100 for like maybe four items. Yeah, me, take me to fuck home. I don't know who I thought I was. But I'm justifying it by saying it's my birthday weekend and I want to treat myself. That's how I'm justifying it. That's how I'm justifying it. And I know I said I wanted to stop to the grocery store and get like some more bread, 
some cheese. But however, we have a couple more slices of bread and we definitely still have um, some cheese that I can use for, uh, for, um, for dinner and all that good stuff. So yeah, no. I'm gonna see y'all when I get in the house. All right, y'all, so it's time to do a haul. As you can see, I'm home. The weather lied to me. It told me around three o'clock it was supposed to rain. No rain in fucking sight. The highest it said it was supposed to be was 80 something degrees. It's been like in the high 90s this whole fucking time. What is this on my case? My feet hurt. I had on my Hirachis, as y'all guys know, but I got them in a boy size seven. Oh, see now it's it's not supposed to rain no more. My ass is and high is supposed to be is ninety, but it feels like a hundred. Okay, but um, anywho, I had my Hirachis on, and those shoes are only good for a couple of hours, but maybe even for like hour and a half, two hours max. But after that, your feet are hurting. Now I don't know if it's because I need my toenails cut. Or if it's because the shoes are too small, but when I, I'm a size eight and a half in women, so when I go down a size in boys, I'm usually a six and a half, but Hirachis run small, so I went a whole size up. Well, half a size up. So I think next time I buy my next pair of Hirachis, I'm going to get them into women's size because the boy size, they be hurting the shit out of my feet. Anywho, let's do a little haul. So... These are the three places I went, Sephora, Ulta, and this place called Akira. Um, the first time I ever saw Akira was at the Houston Mall. That's the first time I ever seen Akira and now they're like everywhere. And I didn't know that they put one up in Towson Mall because I don't really go to the mall like that. I'm more of an online shopper than anything. So yeah, so let's start with Akira first. So first of all, my damn um, receipt is all fucked up. So I can't really say what the prices are on here. But I only picked up one, two, three, four things. And it cost me $98.18 for all of this shit. Y'all. Then on top of that, that's not even my card number. Why is it showing... Well, I did use Apple Pay, so maybe my Apple Pay card is different. So, like I said, I just picked up um, some basics from their basics um, section. Ooh, at least the girl remembered to take the thing, but she forgot to take this thing off. So, I got these biker shorts from the Paxton brand, and they retail for $19.90. They're called the Ella Paxton Biker Shorts. So, they have... They're black and like this ripped material. And I brought this top to go with it because I just thought it would be cute. They're both ribbed and it's something I could walk around the house in. Or if I run out to like do a quick errand, I can wear this over top. I mean, underneath like my big white cardigan or like an oversized jacket or something like that. And this retail for $19.90 as well. This is called the Jayla Jayla Paxton bralette and this is what this looks like so that's what I brought to go together then I saw these rompers and they didn't have that many colors they had them in like bright orange this mocha color black and I think gray but I just got it in mocha and this is called Loving It Scoop Neck Seamless Paxton Romper. They said the color is brown, but I call it mocha. And this was $29.90. So this is what it looks like. Again, something that I can wear around the house or run, um, wear it to, you know, over to my mom's house, run errands or something like that. And lastly... Yep, that's everything. And lastly, I just, um, you guys saw this when I went to the dressing room. I just picked up another pair of biker shorts, but these are in a different material. They're more of a cotton fabric than a rib fabric. And this is the Snatch High Waisted 
biker shorts and these were $22.90. So you see how like they have a high rise. So that's what I got from Akira. Now, will I shop from there again? I don't know. We got to see the quality of these clothes. Because again, $100 for four items, I think it's just ridiculous. So from Sephora, I didn't vlog in there. But I did pick up a new perfume for the nighttime. So I finally got my hands on the Prada Candy. This is the one fluid ounce. This was $76. But I had 600 plus points. So I used 500 of those to get $10 off. So my total came up to $69.96. Again, it's using the dip. The card number is so different. But yeah. So I used $10 off. Um, oh, so this was, yeah, it was $76, $10 off made it $66 and all that good stuff. And then for my birthday gift, I just chose the Tatcha skincare set. So this comes with the rice wash, the dewy skin cream, and the liquid silk canvas. So I've heard amazing things about Tasha, but I refuse to buy it because it's just way too expensive so the rice wash is a makeup basically a cleanser so this is a cleanser the dewy skin cream which i heard a lot of people talk about that especially um it's good for dry skin this is a moisturizer this might last me for maybe two weeks this should last me a good amount of time. And then lastly, like I said, you get the liquid silk canvas, which is a primer. But it comes like a little packet right here. So, yeah, that's what I got from Sephora. And last but not least in the list of things that I brought, which is where I, the most expensive thing for some odd reason is from Ulta. I spent $111.22 in Ulta. And the most expensive thing was the Juvia's Place item. So let's just start. So I picked up another hand sanitizer. This is the Touchland Power Mist hand sanitizer, but I got it in a different scent. I got Citrus Grove. Um, the one that I'm using right now from Touchland. Let me get all my receipts so I can do my special rewards. Okay, give me all of the receipts. This one is the, I think this is the aloe one. Yeah, aloe you sent it. So I picked up this one because this is the only one that I saw. But I saw they had a lavender scent one. But I don't know where that one went. So I sort of try to pick up things that I could do a full face of new makeup. But I didn't pick up every single thing that was um for a full face but i have enough to do a full face so next so the first thing is this sister not the first thing because i just showed you the thing the hands out there anyway i picked up um these new lashes from kiss these are the sister nature vegan meat lash these are supposed to be biodegradable lashes so once you're done with these lashes, you can throw them away and they will biodegradable. They will degrade by 75% in 180 days. So, yeah, they have like this fluffy 3D look. And this is in the style. Oh, it's right here in my face, girl. In the style Ivy. Just how tired I am. So, for foundation, <clears throat> I'm going to try this new Essence 16 hour cover and last powder foundation this is in the shade brown sugar this is the only one that looks semi close to me and i also don't ever wear powder foundation so this is gonna be new Oopie. i picked up the new physician's formula butter believe it blush in pink sands so it was a pinky blush also i have a lot of essence products in here you know so yeah, so for Essence, um, from Essence, I picked up the Hello Good Stuff Primer Serum. It is a hydrate and plump serum with blueberry and squalene. So I picked that up. I never had a primer in this type of um, format, so this is new for me. 
Also from Essence, I picked up the Something Aroma palette. And this is what it looks like. So these colors are very neutral tone with the pops of color. So I was going to get the last, um, get the one that says Welcome to Miami, but the last one. So I know it's very popular and it's very good for the spring and summertime. But I already have all those colors in my Natasha Denona palette. So I didn't want to buy another one in the same color scheme. So I just stuck with this. I just stuck with this. And yeah, so I'm excited to try that out. I picked up a new Morphe <coughs> concealer. This isn't brand new. Like, it's been out for a good ass minute. But y'all know the Morphe concealer that I had, which was in 3.25, is completely done. I am completely done with that. There's nothing left in there. There's nothing left for me to scrape. So I picked up the soft radiance concealer in medium 14 warm which is a my highlight shade i picked up the essence kiss by the light illuminating powder for um highlighter this is in star kiss i was torn between star kiss and sun kiss but i feel like this one is good for like light to medium tones and then sun kiss is good for medium dark to deep tones well not deep maybe dark but not deep but i mean i'm just going to try it to see how it works for me i can just pick and choose which color i want to use no not yet i'm not going to do that one yet so then i'm going to try the new um last princess liner in black because i did pick up the last princess mascara because i heard people talk about that a lot this isn't new but i don't have any revlon lipsticks in my collection so i picked up this one called bear affair it looks like a nude like a peachy nude um color and last but not least i picked up the juvia's place bronze palette with duo palette in tan so it's a the this isn't brand new either but it's new to me so for my gift from alta I was gifted the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Cream. I've seen Jackie Anna talk about this. So, you know, her skin is immaculate. So whatever she talks about, I'm going to try even though Estee Lauder is very expensive. So, yeah, so that is um, everything that I had planned for today. I didn't go to the grocery store because my feet was hurting. I was getting hot. And irritated and hungry so I'm about to make me a chicken patty pour me a glass of wine I was supposed to record my boxy charm today but I'm gonna just upload I'm just gonna um, edit upload Lord, what I'm trying to say I'm going to record edit and upload tomorrow so my video should be up by I'm gonna push for three o'clock on Sunday so that way I still have enough time to deep clean my house tomorrow and get my week off right for this week even though I'm only working three days next week um because I'm off on that Tuesday and Wednesday but yeah that is it so I'll just talk to you guys tomorrow good morning you guys happy Sunday so I just got finished doing all of the hygiene things so my face is looking glowy and ready for some makeup but I'm gonna let the stuff soak into my skin a little bit longer before I go and record so originally I was going to do my boxy charm my August boxy charm um, video first but I think I'm just going to do the trying new to me makeup first um and then maybe Monday I'll go and uh record after work record the boxy charm unboxing but like I said I need to record edit and upload today so it's 8 50 I need to clean up this beauty room 
because the shit look a hot ass mess. Okay. <laughs> a hot ass mess. Also need to wash all of my, not all of my makeup brushes, but I need to wash all of these. So I feel like if I take them out of my room, sorry for the lighting. I feel like if I take the stuff out of my room that I need to wash, when I go back into the kitchen after I'm done recording, then actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna phrase that. I'm gonna do my boxy charm first because it's so much easier for me to do, especially when I have to do, um, especially when I gotta edit, upload, and everything today. So if I take it out of the room, I feel like that will prompt me to wash the damn makeup brushes because I just can't. I just can't. Let me set you guys down. Y'all, my beauty room is a hot ass mess. Hot ass mess. So let me show y'all um, some stuff I got from Shein, some accessories. So I picked up this um, crystallized bag off of Shein because it matches with the shoes which i don't know if i showed you guys the shoes yet i can remember if i if i did i'm gonna show you show it to you guys again but um yeah so this is my birthday bag for 2022 then i just picked up some hoop earrings i thought these was going to be bigger but they're not so i need to get a bigger size but i mean these cute little crystallized earrings also they have like rhinestones going around they'll look cute just like the earrings i have on now these are similar to the gold ones that i have but i now order my jewelry from the fine jewelry section off of shein instead of like the regular ones i mean they're still affordable but they last longer than the fashion jewelry you know then these are nice these are these must be brand new or maybe it was because of the rings that i chose because they now come like these nice purple little small satin bags <clears throat> so i picked up three um two rings and a bracelet so i picked up this bracelet here i think it would look really cute with um <clears throat> with my watch I picked up this ring, little crystallized ring, and you guys know how I complain about every time I order rings off of Shein, they be like too small. They, I would think they're going to be a size eight, but then they turn to be a size seven. I realized what I need to do is, <coughs> excuse me, what I realized I need to do is, um, filter it to only show size eight rings because normally they would just say one size but the the diameter is always like 0 0.6 or 0 0.7 so i just know now from now on, on i just need to look for only size eight rings because these fit me perfect and just this is the other ring this definitely matches my cuban necklace that's coming in tomorrow so, you guys might not see that in this vlog. Um, most likely, I'll probably do a few days in my life vlog, which is also going to include my birthday. So, yeah. So, that's the recent pickups from Shein as far as accessories go. I always have also magazines but i don't ever really you know make all this trash oh yeah so this was the book that i was talking about yesterday you are a badass how to stop doubting your greatness and start living an awesome life by jen Snerio. and like i said i've heard people read about this book so 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 many times and it is a self-help personal growth um type of book and i'm really not into self-help books i will say that but i 
Matthew said why not it looks like an easy read it's not that many pages so I'll let you guys know once I'm done with this how I feel about it I mean you guys probably already read this book before so this is probably nothing new to you but if you're like me like you never read it it never really caught your interest like that but you you know are going through your own personal journey and personal growth and trying to find your way even at um at an older age then i am going to let you guys know how i feel about it so let me finish cleaning up this desk so i can start preparing to record this video and i'll pick you guys back up in a few all right good folks so i just got finished recording my boxy charm video so now i just need to export the footage into my computer so that way i can go ahead and um start editing it's 10 27 now i already missed half a church so i'm gonna have to just watch the re um i'm gonna have to just watch the reruns once the church service is over since i missed it but um yeah so this is the face that I came up with using those products in my boxy charm. This is a face that I would do on a normal, like it's so soft and basic. And I mean, yeah, it looks like I'm wearing makeup, of course, but I don't look overly done, like with a million eyeshadows, with a highlighter all over my face, you know, dominant cheekbones being, you know, shown or whatever. So yeah. So if you are interested in seeing what I got my boxy charm and you like boxy charm on video on videos and you just want to see what I got, then head over to the main channel, which is always listed down below, and go over there and check it out. And while you're over there, also subscribe to that channel. Okay. So yeah. So now that I am done with one video. I'm gonna do another video tomorrow. I'm so excited though that I actually got put be able I was able to put on like real makeup. Because I went to Ulta. Not not yesterday, but like uh a while back. And I picked up the Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm from e.l.f. and I really want to try this out and it's good for all skin types to have hyaluronic acid peptide ceramides and sunflower seed oil so you put the scoop out a dime size amount of the product with the spatula it comes with the spatula and you massage it onto dry skin which basically means while your makeup is still on you're going to put uh rub this all over your face and yeah, you rinse it with warm water and remove with a, or remove with a warm depth cleansing cloth, which you guys know I have my PMD cleanser cloth, which is dirty. So it's in the, um, it's in my laundry, but I also have the faux makeup erasers that I got from TJ Maxx. Yes, yeah, so I'm so excited to try that. And then of course I picked up some more stuff while I was there. You guys, um... Oh, hold on. So, if you are coming from my main channel, did you know I did a purchase or pass? And one of the um, purchases that I wanted to get was from Makeup Revolution. It was their, what is this called? Shadow Balm. And I got it in Charmed Lilac because my color scheme for my birthday this year is purple and white. Then I also finally picked up the Lash Princess false lash effect mascara i hear um jasmine gc jazz here on youtube talk about this all the time she says one of her favorites and i heard other people talk about it but she's the only one that really she's the first one that comes to mind then i also picked up a new lipstick to refill my fenty um lipstick with i got mother lover already so i finally was able to get my hands on pose queen and last i just read up on my favorite um Mas uh, not mascara eyebrow pencil which i already have one that's chilling and waiting so now i have two backups <laughs> but that's how much i love that pencil it's like my holy 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 grail pencil like 
it always gives me amazing brows. It fills in amazingly. It gets, if I'm gonna do like hair, hair light strokes, it gives me that. I love, I love this. Anywho, let me stop rambling. Let me go ahead and get some work done and then we'll start doing the Sunday reset routine to get our week in a good spot. All right, y'all, so it's been a, been a few hours later. I finally finished editing. My video is now importing onto YouTube. It has like 15 minutes left, so it would definitely be up by three o'clock. But I haven't ate nothing since I've been up since nine this morning. I am so hungry. So first I'm gonna take my vitamins, which, you know, my multivitamins to give me some energy. And then all of this in my Okay. Then we're about to do a little grocery haul. So, I went in, did a small order of groceries from off of Instacart. So, I've been craving something salty for the longest time, and all I have is sweets. I have one more Swiss roll left. And then my boyfriend went and brought me some of my favorite candy, which is peach rings. But I've been craving something salty. So I picked up a flavor pack of chips. They have sour cream and onion, barbecue, Cheetos, both of the Doritos, and Fritos, chili cheese. So, got that. Then I got this no sugar added cranberry juice. This is not for me. This is for my boyfriend. He loves cranberry juice, even though I should be drinking cranberry juice too because I know it helps with the girly down there. But I just don't. <laughs> also, random note. Have y'all ever had Nature's Own crafted brioche style buns and hot dog buns? Girl, I don't know what, you know, Flavors they put on these buns, but they are so good. So good. But I got that. So I am running low on cold brew. So I got dark roast this time instead of the medium roast because they weren't out at the grocery store that I chose. Food Lion is cheaper than going to, like, um, for some reason it's been cheaper than... Where I normally shop at? Shoppers or from, well, Giants it is nowhere near cheap. But it's been cheaper for some reason at Food Lion. So I just been getting groceries when I have order groceries from there. And they didn't have the medium roast, like I said. So I had to get the dark roast. I never had dark roast coffee before, but we should see how it goes. And what is this? I picked up a small thing of kombucha. This is to help aid kombucha and passion fruit and tangerine. And it's a bubbly pro probiotic tea for a happy gut. So this is supposed to be good for gut health. So I got that. Mainly for me, but I can guarantee you my boyfriend is going to probably eat it. And I just got some my favorite cheese, the Kraft American cheese. <sighs> Picked up some breakfast sandwiches. I got the turkey sausage, egg white and cheese from Jimmy Beans. I got it in the muffin form and I got it in the croissant form. So that, and last but not least, I just got our favorite bread, which is the nature's own whole wheat bread. So that's my little small grocery haul. So I'm gonna put this stuff up. I'm going to put away these dishes and start working on I'm gonna eat first. Let me tell you I'm gonna eat first, then put away these dishes and work on cleaning my makeup brushes and stuff because, yeah, I have so many makeup brushes that I need to clean and it's about that time.
on the front after I finished mopping my floors I went to go start vacuuming the couch and everything like that I lay down and that was my mistake I shouldn't have laid down I should just kept on moving but I laid down and I slept for two hours so I'm just now waking back up from my nap <laughs> I don't know, you get old, you need you need to start taking naps. So I'm actually about to take this makeup off because I slept with this makeup on. I'm trying to sleep cute so that I wouldn't put um, any makeup on my couch and stuff. So I'm gonna be trying that this Hello Hydration Cleansing Balm. So let's try this out. To take a dime size which I'm assuming it has like a little ridge I don't know if you guys can see it there's a little ridge on here so I'm thinking maybe that's considered a dime size so like this much should be enough and this is so on dry skin so let's go Not too terrible. It definitely removed everything. Look how clean my face looks from that. I like that. First impressions, just two thumbs up for me. Two thumbs up for me. And since my sink is clogged for some odd reason now, I just gotta wait now and just, um, I wish this would fit inside. I don't know where to put this at. But yeah, I like that. Um, I like this cleansing balm. So now I just need to let... Let 
So now I'm just waiting for the water to go down in my sink because my sink is clogged and I should have ordered some Drano. <sighs> so while I let that um, finish doing what it's doing so I can go back and finish cleansing my face, I'm going to do what I was supposed to do. Vacuum the couch. <laughs> So, and I also need to clean my glassware. So, let me set up and do, do that cleaning. I gotta keep some rules in the first of me. Still worry about wasting the best of me. All you bring, don't care. Sometimes I read the nonsense, it's just urgent. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog off here. So I hope you guys enjoy spending the weekend with me. I'm about to pop in this frozen pizza, pour me a glass of red wine, because I had a glass last night. If you watch my Instagram stories, um, I was waiting for my boyfriend to get off, so I went to where he worked at, um, at this bar slash restaurant, and I had a couple of drinks. And the selection of wine is very dry, and I'm not a dry wine drinker i like sweet so i'm gonna finish not finish because i still got a lot i'm gonna pour me a glass of this san antonio pop this pizza in the oven okay sit my behind on this clean couch and watch some tv so if you enjoyed this weekend vlog don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well as subscribe and turn on your bell notification to get know if i'm gonna upload my next vlog which will be next week i believe it will be by few days in my life because I don't think I'm gonna do a whole week it might be a few days in my life including my birthday whatever it consists of because who knows again it's not fully planned yeah oh before I end, really ended up I forgot to show you guys the shoes <clears throat> so these are the birthday shoes I got them from Miss Lola so hence the reason why I have all this purple and stuff going on because like I keep saying the theme is well the color scheme for me is purple and white this year so anywho I'm gonna go I'm gonna see you guys in my next one love you thank you for the support and talk to you guys later we should get it away somewhere and run it up we try to fall in love